Hi everybody. I want to try out a new fun technique today with the VR Memory Keeper's new foil quill. And I already plugged that into my Cricut and have it heated up so that it'll be ready when we get to that point of the project. But we're going to need a few other things to do this project. We're going to need some hot foil and today I'm going to be trying the Glimmer hot foil system. The foil from Spellbinders, they use this with their Glimmer hot foil system. So today I'm going to use the teal of that. I'm going to use regular washi tape. Now this is washi tape I had in my stash. It did not come with the foil quill. We're going to need sharp scissors and we're going to need plain white cardstock to actually print on. So let's go to the computer and try this technique. First thing first, I am going to add a square. And I'm going to make this square about 6 inches wide. And I'm going to change it to white because I really don't want this to print gray on my computer, on my printer. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add an image. And for this, I'm going to use Cricut Alphabet Cartridge, which is a free cartridge that comes with the Design Space software. I'm going to choose Good Job because I hope that at the end of this project that you would think that I did a good job. And I'm going to center this as much as I could. Um, the next thing I want to do is duplicate this because I need two images. I need one image that is going to print and the other image that will be drawn with the foil quill. So I want to change the good to a different color. I want that printed in a different color. So I want to change it to print first. And then I'm going to change the color to yellow. Now because this image is actually two images grouped together, what I'll do, I'll ungroup this. And I'm going to delete, I'm actually going to delete the shadow layer, which is this one. So I'm going to put this here and I need to pay special attention to where I put it in the square. So the position right now is 1.25 at X and I'm going to change that to 1.5 on Y to make it easier to remember. So we next going to, we are going to take this good job and we are also going to ungroup this and delete the shadow feature and I'm going to change this good job from a cut feature to the draw feature so the reason I needed to know where the position was is so that I can position this right on top of the other one but before I do that actually I think I need to flatten these two images so that they would print as one and then bring this to front and put this on top so I want to position it at 1.25 we mentioned earlier and then the Y was actually 1.5 and there we go so that should be perfectly placed over the other one and the next thing I'm going to do is actually attach the second good job so it looks like just a print and cut feature on Cricut right now but it's actually print cut and draw so the next thing I want to do is make it 
and continue. I'm going to send this to my printer. Print a copy. And because I'm using medium cardstock, I'm going to select the cardstock here. And my tools are already loaded into my machine. So I have this will be essentially the black pen here would be essentially the foil quill and I have my fine point blade already loaded into my machine. So here we have it. We have the good job printed and now we are going to put this on to the Cricut mat. I'm going to line it up here as best as I can. So another thing you don't want to do with this technique is to cover the registration lines, which is the reason I actually put a box around it because I want to give a place where I can put the foil and it doesn't interfere with the registration marks. So I'm going to put a little bit of foil over here. Make sure that actually covers the image. And I'm going to cut this to the size. And take it. So remember for this part of this technique you need to tape the foil down very carefully so that it doesn't get caught up into the machine and also you need to tape it in such a way that it does not cover the registration marks as well The next thing I am going to do is to actually load this into my Cricut. Okay, here we go. So the go light is ready. You just hit that and see how this goes. So now for the big reveal. First thing first, I'm going to pull this off the mat. There we go. Set this aside. And then I am going to carefully pull the washi tape off. Okay, so maybe I actually need the VR Memory Keepers washi tape because this is giving me a little more trouble to come off. That is really stuck there. And look at that. So we have the print feature, which was the yellow. And then we did the foil feature with the VR Memory Keepers new foil quill. And it just made an outline. And that is just beautiful. Beautiful. 